Hello Recast, thanks for joining us. We are changing the format of the question of the day series a little bit. We're just going to be doing one a week from now on. So we're going to have a question of the week. Each one's going to come out on Wednesday. There's still going to be some application-based questions from the week's sermon before. And so this week we're touching on uh, my sermon from Sunday on Easter that was based out of First Peter chapter 1. And you know, when you preach, there's always stuff that you wish you could talk to, but because of time constraints and different purposes that you're trying to accomplish, you really just can't go there. Well, this is kind of neat because it gives me the opportunity to expound on something that I wanted to on Sunday morning. So if you turn with me to 1 Peter, we look at verses 3 to 9, and in verse 3, it talks about God being the agent of our new birth and that he is the one who causes us to be born again and in very simplistic terms being born again means uh, to be regenerated to be imparted new spiritual life and uh, what we didn't get to talk about was how exactly God goes about doing that so if you look at verse 3 I want to point this out to you he says because of his great mercy so we know that it's done according to his mercy he has given us new birth to a living hope. Jump down to verses 23, 24, and 25. It says, Because you have been born again, here he's describing their, their new birth, because you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable. And so this is a, a, a born, being born again means having e eternal characteristics, right? Eternal life is a part of the new birth through the living and enduring Word of God. So th there are born again through the living and enduring Word of God. He goes on, For all flesh is like grass, and all its glory like a flower of the grass. The grass wither and the flower falls, but the Word, referencing back what he's talked about, of the Lord endures forever. And then he goes on to describe this word through which we have been born again. He says, in verse uh, 25, right here at the end, And this word is the gospel, or the good news, that was proclaimed to you. So when you and I are born again, it is according to God's great mercy through the Word and often through the preaching of the Word. It's, it, you cannot disconnect new birth or regeneration or this new life from the, the living and abiding Word of God. It's when we hear that Word that uh, the, the general call of the gospel goes out and, and God initiates a response in our heart. So I want you to just talk for the next couple of minutes about how you came to be born again. Where did you hear the word that caused you to be born again? So just share a, a little bit with one another about how you heard the word of God and had your life changed as a result. Uh, we miss you all. We've been praying for you. Please reach out if you need anything. We're thankful for each and every one of your recasts.